Yes guys, uh, PTTP here. I am on a business estate in Wimondon or I don't know, I don't know what it's, how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, not far from Thetford, uh, not far from Norwich, that sort of area in Norfolk. Um, yeah, as I was coming up around this way, um, I was looking for the police headquarters, which uh, I found, which I'll head down there in a bit. But in the meantime, on the same business estate, we also found this one. Which is the Police Investigation Centre. Pedestrian entrance. Uh, so we've got a gate here, staff parking only, beyond that point. And we've got another gate over there. His ID card doesn't seem to be working, maybe he's a bit too close. Don't you know? Oh, too impatient. Just gonna drive through the other one. Yeah, the gates are. The gate seems to be faulty. You have to be careful with that. Open gate, no signage saying, you know, restricted. It's, just, it's on the fritz, it's just playing about the middle of the uh, thing. Doesn't seem very safe. So I'm not really sure what it is that they do here. I don't know what the police investigation unit means. I'm guessing this is, uh, obviously they have PCs that are out on street patrol. Um, and I'm guessing this is where the constables are based that sit around investigating evidence and then looking into crimes or potential crimes and assessing whether or not an uh, offence has been committed or not. So it says it's an automatic door, but it doesn't open, you have to be buzzed in. So yeah, that's uh, that's one of the sites that I found that's quite, I found to be quite interesting. It's really uh, broken, not doing its job very well at all. It's, it's slowly getting there, it's uh, more open than it was when I got here. Well, yeah, it looks like a very new building, um, I don't know anything about it. I wasn't expecting to encounter this, so I haven't got a clue what it is or any information about it. Yeah, so 
Just thought I'd show you that. And see all of that, uh, the other side of that roundabout, that's all part of the police headquarters here. So that's what we're going to go have a look at now. Yeah, so this is the, the gate system that they've got on the headquarters for vehicles. So it's very well signed, official vehicles only, authorised vehicles only. I can't read what the other ones say, they're too small. I have to get closer. It says uh, persons using this car park do so entirely at their own risk. Norfolk Constabulary don't take liability for any damage or any loss. Unless it's caused by the negligence of the organisation stated. And then uh, on the far side there they've got a CCTV notice. Again, it looks like a very new build. Big radio tower there. Um, yeah, the buildings all look very new, very modern. So it'd be interesting to find out when this was built, how much money was invested in it. Out of the taxpayers' money. But, But yeah, so far all fenced stuff, any car park bits are all gated. I think it's probably one of the most secure HQs I've visited so far. more police vehicles than that in that car park over there so I think that might be part of it as well might go have a look over there first and wrap it up with the main headquarters building Yeah, I'm not really sure what this one is. I think it just might be part of the main headquarters. It's just like spread out quite a bit. So it's got building seven, which is this one, and that one's building eight. There's quite a lot of buildings, you know. So again, they've got their uh, slogan on the side of their vehicle, our priority is you, which I don't think it is.
So the new one, 21 plate. So yeah, they've, you know, they've all got dash cams and that installed by the rear view mirrors, which is good. We like a camera, we like accountability. Uh, this is a pro top, whatever that means. It's got like uh, lights on the back of it there. Got one PC getting ready to leave, get a nice shot of that one. For the moment, he's just sat in his car writing in his notebook. All good. So yeah, they've got another car park here. We've got building nine, which I'm guessing will be that one over there. Um, you can see a couple of marked vehicles at the back there. There's some like right, right down the back there. But I can't get to them. Can't really get a good shot of those ones, unfortunately. Can't really get the angle on it to get a nice shot. Which is a shame. Well, that's interesting. So they've got police bicycles. Doesn't look like they've been used in a while. Their uh, seats and that are all quite dusty and cobwebby on them. Oh, that one's for evidence. But yeah, it doesn't look like they get used very frequently. So I didn't notice earlier, but this uh, Ford here, trying to masquerade as a BMW incognito, is actually parked in a marked operational vehicles only spot. It doesn't look like a very marked vehicle to me. But, uh, 
So this one, yeah, this one is building seven. It says it right on the front there, which I missed as I uh, came through. So there we have it, that's uh, building seven and eight and the car park of the HQ. Let's see if I can get those marked vehicles. This uh, this bit here is the main building. So it's the one that comes right off the roundabout there. So it's probably the one that the public would report to. And then so you got reception, deliver deliveries, visitors car park. Uh, Like that. That's very nice. So there's an inscription underneath water that reads, To the memory of our colleagues whose lives were sadly taken during their service to the constabulary and the people of Norfolk, we will always remember them. Interesting. I think they're uh, do with the clean. Looks more like a fortune telling pool or something at the moment, with that cloudy muck in it. Looks like they've forgotten already. Yeah, they've got a nice little garden bit here. It's quite nice. Nice bit of greenery. Thank <laughs> you. 
interesting bike rack. We got PC 101. Wimon Wimondum. Wimondum. I don't know if you know how to pronounce it, guys. Let me know. That's where we are. So we've got a map of women, women them here. Oh, that's interesting. I've not seen that one before. They've got a street index. So that's like a larger map of the area, and that's a closer map of women them. Yeah, so this is the so this is a public inquiry desk. So you need to pick up the yellow phone to speak with reception. Apparently, you can't just go in and make an inquiry anymore. Ah, so where I was earlier, the police investigation centre is the custody unit, apparently. So that's how you can get there if you need to get there. So, all persons are required to wear this type of mask while in this building, except where, and oh god, look at that spelling mistake. Except where an exemption applies, is what I should say, not and, for which a person based risk assessment is required. Social distancing must be maintained. Oh, somebody's coming out, let them out. Yeah, so they've got that sign on all points of the revolving door however it's not anything that's actually in law at the moment you know it's something that has been repealed there are no restrictions officially in the UK anymore so so this is the office of the police and crime commissioner Norfolk constabulary So I have had a few funny looks here and there from people, but so far so good. Nobody stopping to, you know, accost me. Uh, uh, what is it they call it? Stop an account. Door to stairwell there. fire escape there. And another fire escape door there. That looks good. Just takes you around to, to this side bit. Which is all fenced off and secure. Again, as I said, this is... Uh, I would say one of the most secure headquarters that I've been to so far. I'm impressed with it. And it looks as though the attitude problem was a Thetford station issue, not a general Norfolk constabulary issue.
that's interesting i don't know if that's people that have died in active duty or whether that's just people from the force generally that have passed away i mean it seems too few for it to just be that so it's, i would assume for that many it would be those that have passed in active duty although it only goes back to 2017 so it's quite possible that you know it's only for uh it could be for those that have passed away in general but good thanks you not bad? Sorry, but I didn't, I didn't get your name. How are you doing? No, you didn't. No, it's not Marcus, is it? No. No, I thought you, I thought you, you like someone I recognise. Oh, no, no, definitely not Marcus. I um, uh, don't know. You. Is there anything we can help you with today? Uh, just your ID, your identification. Yeah, it's grand. PC 2035 Rainer. And I'm 2253, sir. Lovely. Have you got your warrant cards on you? Yeah. Lovely, thank you. There you go. This is myself. Perfect, myself. thank you. There you go. Lovely. It's upside down, I can't read that. Lovely. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. No, I'm good. No, yeah. Absolutely are fine. You, are you from Norwich? Have you been to Wyndham before? No. Well, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Wyndham. I know Wyndham. Uh, okay. Tell me about it. So it's Wymontam. Yeah, that's what I've been calling uh, it. Wymond Wymondam or something. Uh, I don't know. You'll you get used to it around here. Yeah. The kind of play Cossy up the road, which is Costessi. Right. Which is Wymontam, but it's Wyndham. <laughs> right. Uh, Hapersburg, which is Haysborough. Right, okay. Yeah, I know, it's, a bit it's, of, it's British towns and that, yeah, it is what it is. Where have you come from? You travel far? Or? Yeah, fair distance, fair yeah. Distance, yeah. yeah. But, um, um, did you go around uh, film on a few police stations? Oh, yeah, all sorts of different places, not uh, really. Any reason yeah. for doing so that you want to tell me about? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pub uh, matters of public interest, you know, it's yeah, very yeah. new build. How old's the site here? It looks like the whole estate's quite new. It's about 2000, I believe. Oh, really? That, that old? I believe it. There is something over there that just says when it was built. Yeah. Um, I believe it was just after 2000. Ah, okay. Um, but yeah, so it's been here a little while. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's headquarters in Norfolk, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing you guys have a, you know, you've approached me quite well and done what oh, yeah, you meant yeah, to do. Yeah, so I'm guessing yeah. you get a lot of training on yeah, uh, dealing with people that are filming and that around police stations. Well, not necessarily. We just deal with members of the public day in. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people don't act as courteously as you do, oh, cordially. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. A hundred percent. No, I appreciate that. You know, I said uh, I'll be as respectful as what I get. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a two-way street. As uh, I've had an interaction with some Fetford officers today, it was was not so good. They've actually put hands on me, which I don't believe they have the authority to do. Um, so I'll be reporting that through the appropriate channels. Uh, no, I was actually uh, stopped at a shop nearby and just right. saw the sight. I saw the massive sign yeah, that you can't yeah, miss yeah. from the roundabout. Yeah, and, uh, small, is it? yeah so, um, but yeah, and then like, as I was uh, walking around, I noticed obviously you got the police investigation unit up there. Nice. You got buildings seven, eight, and nine down there. So it's quite a widespread, quite a large site. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah. uh, well, it's quite handy for us. Obviously, having one, all, all in one place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, too, too much for yeah, us to, to very travel. secure site. Give me that. It's, you know, everything's gated, locked. You know, I've, yeah. I'll, uh, I went to one headquarters down in Devon, Exeter, and Cornwall oh, headquarters, and nice? awful. They were yeah, not good. It? Yeah, like, I was just doing what I was doing, just walking around, filming Matt's public interest. You know, showing them the site. Yeah. And they've got like an access point similar to like how you come into the car park here, but um, they had like a control gate for vehicles, yeah. but the footpath was completely unobstructed. Right. And you know the footpath that you got going around here, you got like the blue signs with the pedestrian and the bicycle public yeah. footpath they had yeah. that going all the way up right but then the security guard in the box came out threatened to put hands on me and use reasonable force and right. the sergeant came out and managed to de-escalate but the pcs were awful right. um wasn't was not good it was not good we have to find that balance don't we because you know we we, we do come across individuals who, whose intentions aren't yeah and, but then again it's, it's how you approach people well, yeah, you know we, we, well, i'm more inclined to have a conversation with you yeah, yeah, if you approach course. me as, as nicely as you have um, well, it's give and take isn't it yeah 100 yeah. percent. that's all we're, um, we're on about we're, yeah you're, you're, the public will make sure you're okay with anything without any questions. Any, any other questions that um, we can answer for you today? Not that I can think of off the top of my head, really. No, uh, actually, one it's a bit of a cheeky, uh, cheeky one. How long ago, uh, two then, for, uh, but first to initiate it, how long ago did you both join the force? Out of curiosity, Mine three years ago, three years, yeah. a year. So, yeah. so, it should be quite fresh in your minds. On, can you give me the main points, not expecting verbatim, of your oath of attestation? I no. Straight away. No. <laughs> no, not, no. Not, not straight away. See, that's, that's, the, that's the only disappointing thing I've had of this. I know my, I know my qualities, but I'm not mm. going to be able to sit here and verbatim. No, no, that's said not verbatim, I'll tell you but. What, basic, basically, okay, for myself. Um, it, it, it's about 
say, saving life a limb, okay? Mm -hmm. And trying in every situation to find the best outcome for, for everybody there. Yeah, yeah. That's essentially it for me and for the Queen. Okay. Essentially, that, that is... Yeah. I mean, uh, the main points I was really looking for is impartiality, fairness, Absolutely. upholding human well, that, rights. Yeah, to be honest, that's you more, know, of the people. That's more qualities that they expect through the force. Yes, totally yeah. Unfor yeah, it yeah. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not what we see. You know, all the time. Yeah, so you know. Right. Yeah. But, I, I, I can understand. I mean, it's a bit brass. Yeah. A hundred percent. People we come across. Yeah. Uh, and I think Transparency, yeah. fairness, things like that. So, so, you expect to see. Yeah. So I, I hope that if, if you. If you ever observed the job that we went to or an incident, that, that you see all those qualities. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they are almost unwritten. Yeah. They're the unwritten rules that, that we what we we divide by. Sound four. So if, if, you, if you saw another constable, you know, not acting within, you know, the, oh, it's all the policies that you would expect of a police officer, would you publicly accost them there and then and tell them to stop? I, I, I can't get into the nitty gritty, no. but, no. but the qualities I've just told you about are, yeah. are the ones I stand by. Would you report it to a uh, supervisor if you if you saw that happening from another constable? I can't really talk in a hypothetical situation no. as such. Yeah. I think you'd have to see what you've got at yeah. hand, wouldn't you, and deal with it then and there. Yeah. But that's not to say... I think, uh, you, I think you, you know the answer. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. you already know the answer. I'd, I'd like to think you would. I'd yeah. like to think you would. The way you've approached me, you seem decent. Yeah. You, you, you will know that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as long as you're okay. Yeah, all good. Uh, all good. good. There's nothing else we can help yeah. with. We'll, um, we're gonna... Are your body cams on? Yeah, that's they're, one they're, other thing as well. Not so the oath, and again, you need to let you need to let members of the public know when you're recording them. You know, under GDPR, you you'll become data controllers when you turn them on. I'm a data subject. Yeah. So, for example, I have the right to make a subject access request for that footage. Yeah, if you haven't notified me that it's on, I don't know that I can then access it. You know, that, that, that's why that stands in place. Okay. Uh, well, just, it, just something to keep in mind for next that. time. You know, I, I would expect that both ways as well. Yeah. Um, just yeah. Yeah. So we, we've I've approached you in a nice manner. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Hundred percent. Nicely, I, I I'd appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. You, you, if you, I don't recall if you did when I started. Yeah. Um, that, that you were calling as well. I know that you are. Recording. Yeah, yeah. But... Um, that, that's reciprocal, isn't it? In, in a way, in a way, <laughs> like in, in, in politeness, yes, in politeness, yes. But in, in terms of GDPR and DPA, you're obliged to. I'm not, and that that's the difference because yeah. it only applies to organisations, yeah, uh, not not to members of the public. Reference yeah. If you do see the red flashing light, then it's yeah, yeah. Like it's, uh, Oh yeah, I'm, I, I know that. The fact yeah. That for you yeah. To be told, yeah no, told, exactly. I, I know that because I, I do this and I, I interact a lot, but not every member of the public would understand that. Or if you turned it on when you were walking up and they didn't see that it was yeah. on, you yeah. know. But it's been a pleasure meeting you. Andrew. Andrew, um, uh, is your plan to be around for long? Or, um, no, or, actually, I've, uh, I've already gone around. Actually, I was uh, yeah. just wrapping up, so no, I was no, just no, heading right. on. Oh, is it, there's nothing further I can help with. I don't know if you've no. got any questions. The only or, thing no. I was going to say is just make sure that obviously you stay on a public area. Yes, yeah, yeah. Areas and then well, yeah, any private areas, like I said, it's a very secure site. Any private areas are secured and, yeah. you know, all the, all the doors are locked. They're all badge access. Everything's gated up. You know, I followed the publicly accessible area around there. Yeah. Hit a well, fence, exactly. turn around. And that's, that's, fine, that's absolutely fine, you yeah. know. But, yeah, all good. Thanks all right, for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. day. Andrew, you take care. Take care. Right. See you later. So yeah, I'm not going to get too gritty with them about, you know, cameras and their oath. It is a shame that they don't know their oath and I would expect them to to know it. At least the, the main points, you know. However, they, they display in their actions, um, you know, their, their oath of attestation. Uh, and that's, that's what we kind of expect from... Um, from police officers, so although they don't know, you know, the key points or the the main parts, you know, they can't do it verbatim. But I'm I'm happy with that interaction. But yeah, because they came to me respectfully, a little bit of digging. But you know, they didn't push it when I said, you know, I don't want to give anything. They didn't get funny about it. Didn't press the matter. Yeah, at the end of the day, they do have a job to do. It's how they go about their job. In my opinion. Obviously, PCs... PCs don't have the rank to really comment on public forum about some of the questions I was asking, and I understand that, but it's always worth an ask, because you never know what you're going to get. But with that, guys, I'm going to wrap up. And I uh, might try and squeeze in one more video before I go, depending on how far away the other site is that I wanted to go to. Um, but yeah, I will see you on the next one. Power to the Proletariat. Sarah.